Tri-State Bobcat in Hudson, Wisconsin. This is a 2008 Bobcat S160 skid steer loader. 4,700 hours, excellent condition. It's been inside all of its life in a recycling plant. A uh, few scratches, but excellent condition and it is not rusted. New rubber. It's got a manual bob catch on this one. Here's what's unique on this machine. Joystick controls. So no hand or foot. I mean, you can drive the uh, full range of motion with this machine with your left hand, bucket and boom with your right, or you can slide it into H pattern and run it that way as well. Door is excellent, absolutely no rust. Uh, we've got our couplers. I don't know if they've ever been used on this machine. Uh, they look to be in excellent condition for auxiliary flow. The boom is in nice shape. You don't see any leaks on the machine. We'll do a full inspection on it. Rear door opens easily. We've got a turbocharged Kubota four-cylinder diesel. Got the rear door counterweights to give it a little more lift. Routine maintenance on this machine. And we've just been real impressed with how smooth it drives. And you know the 160 with that radius lift boom is just a great dependable machine. Cab with heat. Manual bobtatch plate. We're going to have to tighten that plate up. So we'll take care of that. And you can even see on the door, on the roof here, uh, you can definitely tell it's been kept inside. Forty-six eighty-six on the hours. Auxiliary flow. You can select between the ISO and the H pattern. So in ISO pattern, just to review that again, all of our drive is on this stick. To turn, all that is, all there is to it is just move the stick and turn. Everything's that way. And then all of our bucket and boom controls are all housed right here. Got our float control here. And then if we switch over into H pattern, now by pushing forward, we're going to turn. So you actually have to move both sticks to go forward and backward. Be like case controls in this example. Uh, the nice thing to notice is just no fatigue at all. I mean, it's all electronic controls. Uh, no foot pedals. The only pedal I've got is down here. Got a throttle in my right foot, so uh, you also have a hand throttle as well, but you can just run it with your uh, foot throttle and go. Uh, for hooking up to a bucket or whatever, we've got a super low position, a snail crawl mode there, so it makes it easy to hook into a bucket. It's a single speed machine. Uh, we do have driver response on this one, so we can set uh, different settings as far as how responsive these controls are. Um, like I like a driver response two, others like a position one, and some guys like to set them in three where they're hot. Tab with heat. Never gonna be cold in this machine. Tri-State Bobcat, Hudson, Wisconsin. Give Jeff a call on this 2008 Bobcat S160. Joystick controls, excellent rubber. Just, uh, you know, there's a lot of grease on this machine. It's a good sign. I mean, people maintain this machine and it shows all the way through. Has not been punished like some machines have been. And you know, if you just wanted to plow snow or move in the woods or do whatever, uh, put the forks on there, it's a very capable machine as well. You know, like with a 1600 rated operated capacity and right around ton and a half uh, tipping load. All in all, great condition. Give Jeff a call, 715-781-3940. Tri-State Bobcat in Hudson, Wisconsin. Uh, we're at exit 4, Freeway 94, just east of Minneapolis and St. Paul, west central Wisconsin. 
It will take great care of you. We've been here for 30 years and uh, lots of happy customers and uh, we'd like to work with you. Tri-State Bobcat, Hudson, Wisconsin. Give Jeff a call, 715-781-3940. Thank you.